everybody, I'm Ron Balicki. I'm here with Cliff Linderman, Larry St. Clair. We just finished our camp. It was, uh, it was kind of hard and heavy, but this is a good one. You know, it, this is probably the best one I think that we've had since COVID, yeah. you know, pre-COVID. And uh, everybody turned out, energy was great. I think the, the classes were fun. We had uh, Professor uh, Alva Solis teaching Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Both these gentlemen taught, I taught, uh, and then we had Nikolai Sonyak in Savat. So I'm gonna urge everybody, we've got a few more camps coming up. This one was off the charts good, it really, really was. I was super happy with it. And uh, next up is Colorado, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so we have Colorado coming, what's dates? Uh, so we're gonna be out there on uh, May 5, five, six, seven, May 5th, 6th, and 7th. Okay, and uh, there'll be like a lot of other things that we're gonna be doing in that time. He has a bunch of field trips set up for us and just stuff to do. But if you've never been to Grand Junction, Colorado, and if you're uh, if you're my age and you remember Roadrunner, it looks like that. There, the place is stellar. I mean, you got the uh, they call it the book cliffs. We're gonna go into all that stuff. We're gonna go up there, but uh, we're gonna train a lot, and we're trying to make more of conference, mm -hmm. like it, more instead of just in and hitting. We're gonna have round tables. We're gonna uh, uh, be discussing a lot of things where we want Mars to go and ranking for you and or your school. But maybe Larry, kind of explain, what's the difference between, because we've been doing camps for many years, seminars, and what's the difference between a conference, say, in this camp that we just finished at the Southwest? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. <coughs> so I think looking at the beginning, most of us are used to workshops and, and seminars, right? That's kind of where we all came up. Um, when we push beyond the two days, that's when we start to look at a camp. So you enter a three day or four day event, where there's tons of training, that's gonna be a camp for sure. With the conference, what we wanna do is go even bigger. We wanna accomplish the same things that we do in a camp, but we want to uh, put it on steroids, basically, right? We wanna create breakout rooms to where you can pick and choose your subject matter and your instructor and move around and gain a lot more knowledge. So essentially, and maybe let's say like a five hour day, you might have the availability for you and your team to gather about 11 hours of knowledge just in that five hour window. So that's going to be the conference. Yeah, and, and it gives you more time to get to know people. Like at a camp, for instance, like a, versus a seminar. You know, we, we do a lot of things after the event, going out to dinner, spend time with the instructors, and get to know other people. So, but you know, you, I think of a conference like you know when you do like say the Super Show or something like that. People come on in. It's not just training technique, but it could be like how to grow your school, you yeah. know, concepts or you know what's the latest greatest on you know on uh, different martial arts styles. I mean, you're, you're getting insights and you can get a little bit more sp specific help that you might need. So we do have the breakout room. So let's say maybe for instance, let's example, right? You wanted to you enhance your double, st double stick technique, right? Mm -hmm. we, we can start developing those things um, as a breakout room so that you can have more time to, to train and learn that versus just a camp where everything's laid out and this is basically the, the curriculum for that particular three day event. Right. So then from Colorado, we're going to go to Clisson, France, which is right outside of Paris. Uh, a lot planned for there. That one's going to be off the charts good. You know, uh, uh, the European seminars tend to get, uh, the facilities they get are, are enormous and we tend to do really right. good with the numbers of people there. But uh, if, if you get a chance uh, to get there a little early, we're going to do some stuff in Paris. We're going to go to, to uh, Nantes. We're going to go to a, a, an amusement park they have out there that has no rights. It's all fighting. It's Very called cool. Pou de Fou. Yeah, yeah. It's I'm excited about that one. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and of course back to training. So uh, you know that's going to be what the last weekend of June into July, and for those who want to be here for the fourth, it, it'll be done. I believe by the second, you could be back on a plane the third if you have to. And return yeah. home back to U.S. You'll be back on the third. Yeah, it's, it's going to be great. I think one one key element too to look at is that both Colorado and May and then the June to July uh, European conference or stage, right, are, are kind of our premier events right now for this year. The camps are meant to fuel and supplement those, and there might be other camps coming up on the calendar <coughs> later in the year, but realistically, we want the conference to bring us all back together. So that's why we created a theme called Unite, right? Yeah. So we want that Mars annual conference, Unite, to bring us all back together. I mean, we had COVID stuff, we've just had people all over the place, right? You know, just kind of spread out, trying to get training where they can get training. Maybe it's on Mars Online, right? Or right. whatever they're doing or whatever they can get a hold of. So bringing us all back together is, is the biggest theme on that. You know, we have a huge Mars family. You know, yeah. huge. I, you know what I want to go into a little bit is all the filming we've done. 
uh, uh, if, if you know me and if you've already followed me, you've, you've seen I had the Jun Fan series, you know, the Jun, Jun Fan Ji Kun Do. It was getting a little dated, meaning not that it's not valid, but I've grown a bit since then, Absolutely. you know, and, and I've tried to, to, you know, like just, uh, the new video these guys have forced me into, <laughs> no, uh, we, we've uh, we really tweaked it, we worked it. It's more of where I'm at in the art now, or my thinking is at. So, uh, you know, that's all on the online training site. Mm -hmm. It's uh, going up there now, we're editing it right now. We edited a large part of it this weekend. Still more to do, but I mean, what, what, we have target dates, what do you think? A week, two weeks, a month? Yeah. My plan was hopefully by April 1st. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I think I could have everything edited. It'll be great. Yeah. So uh, now we got the C-Lab program. That thing's up and running. So we're, we're, we're kicking it out then. Can we go into uh, uh, the students uh, getting mm -hmm. into, yeah. Yeah. Mars University. Yeah. Program. Okay. I'm yeah. sitting there going, because uh, uh, I'm not sure if it was a no-no to let <laughs> you know about. Well, <laughs> we can leak out more information. Yeah. yeah. A little bit about the Mars University. You know, we, we looked at, there's a lot of people who come on to Mars Online because they're looking to just learn some different technique. Maybe it's, it's someone in Taekwondo and he says, you know, I would really like to learn the double sticks. So we have curriculum to help them do that. Then you have a, a person who might come in and says, you know, I really want to get ranked. I, I want to become a black belt in the arts. You know, I want to maybe be an instructor. So we kind of created a new category and this is the Mars University student, right? So we just launched that, all right, it's coming out now. And we try to figure out, well, what's the difference between someone who just comes online and studies and who, you know, wants to become a student? So we try to figure out like, well, that person's very committed, you know, it's gonna take time. It's, it's like if you go to a martial arts school, I had a martial arts school. In, in the process, my students would come in, it took four years to get a black belt. They go through, uh, they pay their monthly tuition, and then there's test fees and all that. So we try to come up with a system that's a win-win, you know, so that it, it's, it's more affordable for them. So we came up with different perks, you know, as, as they pay their monthly fee, that they're gonna get a discounted, say, test fees, right? They're gonna get, um, uh, videos that they purchase at a, at a good discount. Uh, they're going to get, um, say, private lessons. Maybe you wanted to take a private lesson with Ron or Larry and myself. You know, we discounted that for them. So we try to make it more appealing for them to help them out versus in someone who just sort of, I call them a looky-loo. You know, they come in, they look around a little bit, take something, and, you know, oh, that's good, and they'll come back and they'll pick up and, and train. Do you want to add something to that, Larry, as far as? Uh, I, th I think this is the, the next evolution for Mars Online Training as a whole. I mean, honestly, you know, like, like Sifu Cliff said, we, we've got a, a setup that's great. You could specialize in certain curriculums. You could get all of the Kali curriculum or all of the JK degree curriculum. You could do any of those things that you want, but realistically, if, if you're curious, that works perfect. But if you're serious, right, then you want to become a university student mm -hmm. member because like he said, not only do you get the discounts, you get priority testing, which is gonna be huge here in the future, and priority camp registration. And just to, to dive a little bit into priority testing, what that essentially means, and I, honestly, I didn't understand it at first, I had to defer to him. I was like, explain how exactly this is gonna work, right? But realistically, if you follow this online, we have a lot of people testing every month. We have yeah. a mo monthly testing cycle right now for JKD, Kali, and CLOT, and there's more programs coming, so get ready. So we can only take so many people and keep it within a healthy time frame for everybody and also give critiques, right? Like personalized mm -hmm. critiques yeah. to these students as they're developing. So we're gonna have to start prioritizing certain individuals and who better to prioritize than a Mars University student member, yeah. right? Exactly. Absolutely, yeah. You know, testing's starting to get, it's, it's a lot, it's turning into almost a, a full-time job and so that's why this whole program, once I understood more where you were going from, it kind of knocks you to the front if you want to be a part of it. So, you know, it's, to me it's like having that frequent flyer miles and they're letting you on the airplane first. You right. know, and that's going to help a lot of people instead of like having to wait and wait and wait until we, all right, we're done with that test, now, now come in. So we want to, you know, it's just to me the President's Club. Well, you when know, you know. think in the past, and this, this is what's wonderful about te technology, you know, I mean, when I first started teaching on Zoom a couple years ago, I thought, well, this is going to work, but it, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I've, I've uh, taken people through from first on to second on, you know, in two mm -hmm. different years. I test them, I've tested them online. Well, then we, we applied the same thing in, in, uh, for Marjorie University. So, 
If you're someone who's far away and you just can't afford to fly out and train with Ron and, and test with him, which was, was in the past, yeah, now cool. you have the availability to test from your home, which I think is amazing. Yeah, you know what's yeah. cool about it is there's a lot of people in other countries who are like, I want to be with you, I want to test you. And they'd hit me for, a, you know, like they would come and see me at a seminar, but there was no time. Right. And, and so there was a lot of people who were getting sidelined, not because I wanted to, just because, you know, uh, we were geographically undesirable to each other or just no time when I was there. This whole program puts you right there. Yeah, and so, it wasn't it yeah. the progress for them was slow too because they had to like maybe wait another year before they could right. see you again. Where now some people have, they got the material down and they, they they said, can I test next month? And they've got their material, they studied it on their own, so they're putting yeah. a lot of time into it, so we're able to test them. So yeah, they quite regularly. Faster. We go as far as Australia right now. We have Europe coming, um, Iran. A lot of other countries are asking where they normally would never have had access. Right. So and with these guys, I mean, they've changed so much for me with the online training. I've had this long before they did. And, and I'll be quite honest, it was stagnant. And I, I was, it's not that I was neglecting it, but time, everything else. And just having guys who kind of had, really had a lock on what to do. And then that's why, I, I mean, I'm, both of these guys are longtime friends. I've seen what they've done with their schools. I've seen the way they carry themselves. And I just thought this is the, this is the route. And that's why I kind of asked them to get me, get my stuff together. I'll keep it clean. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, it, it, t it takes yeah. a team. It really does. It's a lot, a lot of work, a lot of planning, you know, to develop good course curriculum. You know, like I said, testing. If, if Ron had to test everything by himself and didn't have yeah. help, I no mean, way. He, he'd never be able to teach. He'd be too busy testing, right? So we have a great team here. We work well together. But we've got a lot of exciting um, curriculum coming out in the future that we're planning out. So, you know. We yeah. want quality control too, right. and and with it, I mean, when when you're tested, you're it's watched, you're looked at. Um, I need to know that you have the material, and the videos are great because before it was like you had to be in here working with me, and and once I showed it and you went back home and you're like, what was number eight and whatever, and you're just dead in the water until the next time you see me. Online training gives it to you even if you don't have on uh, uh, access Wi-Fi access because it could be put into your uh, into your device whatever you're using right. through our, our uh, teaching forum through the website that we have yeah so it's pretty good so some people have expressed well I, I just don't have fast enough internet you know so now you can download things onto your phone so that you can still study and be prepared for the test yeah it's pretty good I like that I think that's probably one of the newest you know ventures oh there's something new I forgot to tell you about this is really cool. So you're on, holding out on us, Larry. I know. I know. Well, I saw it the other day. Well, we've been like, like you said, we've been going like for a week solid. Yeah, we have. Stop filming for Jake. Look at this camp, face. Right? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I was uh, logged in, and we had a new update in the portal, which was pretty cool. And as a user, you're able to log notes and comments with each video now as you're viewing it. Yeah. Right? Which is, is awesome. Yeah. So like, yeah, if you yeah. have your own little code, like everybody talks about. They don't speak Guru Larry because I have my own little code, right? When I do my notes and stuff on my yeah. lesson plans, then it's the same thing. So while you're watching the video, you can have your comments up over here, and that's just for you and for your notes, right? Yeah. Which is cool. So that's another another advancement that just happens. That's yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah. You know, so it's a one-stop shop in, in, in essence. You can take your device into a gym. You don't have to have a notepad. You don't have to have Wi-Fi. You could kick it on. You, wait, wait, let me stop it, and you could run and drop a note in there. And just know it. And, and if you're, if you're, you know, to me, that's invaluable. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, just to have that at, at your fingertips. Yeah, and one of the things, like you know, the the initial John Fond curriculum that put out, you know, several years ago, it, it was great. I mean, the content's great. But you know, and then we think about now that we're really hitting the online because before, I remember when you came with the Washington, you were selling the DVDs. It's kind of like it, it's a support thing for people who are training. Right. But now we really kind of shot the video for someone like who's never even trained martial arts, yeah. right? But, to find the jab across. So we kind of catered to someone who says, you know, I, I'd really like to join, but I'm not a martial artist. Well, we, we're now looking for people who's never trained before and kind of handhold them through the whole process. And that was the whole yeah. thing this weekend, you know, because we filmed, well, all week, not even the weekend. We, was this our fifth, sixth day mm -hmm. at it? And uh, before I think when I made the other videos, I made it for somebody who had an idea of this art and was somewhat proficient. And I was, 15, 20 years, or 20 years younger. Yeah. And I was on the run a lot more. Now it's like I have more mature eyes looking at it and how to how to discern the information. These guys even slow me down more when I want to when I want to do stuff. And I've spelled it out to her. If you're a day one person, you could get through this. That was the goal. 
on this one. You know, for me, it was a little stifling at times because I'm like, I want to run! And, and <laughs> like, all right, let me calm down and get this out. And I hope it came out okay. You said you liked a lot of the, the explanations. And I did, I went way more into depth. Cheese out everything, I went a lot further because I had Sifu Cliff here with me. Uh, I've had a lot of students come in because of the camp who were really kind enough to help me out and mm -hmm. hang out and just get this well, stuff Well, you know, that's the thing. Having Guru Larry and bringing me in, we've had schools for many, many years, so we have to take our time and break things down because if they, if we went too fast, we'd lose them. So we know that, you know, we, we have to think, oh, here's a beginning student, I gotta give him the white belt, the yellow belt. So, mm -hmm. you know, and, and not having a school, I mean, you're, you're a great teacher, but you know, we have to make sure that we can keep our students. So I think that's where we bring to the table. So we, you know, we did slow you down and said, hey, here's someone who doesn't have the experience, Let's look at them as we do in our school. I mean, it is basically now the university, so we're gonna take people who never had any experience, and we're gonna take them from white belt to yellow belt in the next level, like as we pr pr progress up to becoming a black belt. Yeah, I think, I think you're uh, spot on with that too, and one of the things I really enjoyed about, you know, I was behind the camera more on this one, versus you the other one, I was in front of the camera a lot, but being behind the camera, I was watching as you were teaching things and he was giving details that I've been privy to because I help maybe on Zoom with a private lesson or a master class or something like that, and they do some of the admin. So I've seen him take some you know, newer people, right? right, and give them things that I've never seen before. So I think whether you're starting out, that's perfect, but also for us that have been in the arts for a long time, he's pointing out little nuanced like details, like the whole locomotive thing and stuff like that that's huge that yeah. us advanced students, I mean, let's face it, We've been training 20 years or however long, right? Okay, you you know, you know, you you know the drill, right? right? So you're not looking if you're looking for new material, then you're looking in the wrong with the wrong eyes, right? You need to be looking for the little details that equal big results within your training method, right? You, you know, I'm gonna give you a lot of credit for it. He he was he brought in some people who had some efficiency, they weren't Bruce Lee, okay? And it gave me a chance in real time while you were filming to say, wait, all right, this time. I need you more here, I need you to twist more here, or I would probably have just glazed over it had I not had that person, you know, w w at that level. Right. So we didn't want to bring in everybody who was like just rocking it. I wanted stuff to where we had to discipline it because hopefully, you know, you'll look at it and go, oh my God, I do do that, let me correct that. On that note, the, the other thing that was really cool is that, is that we expanded the curriculum in such a way that I think somebody, like you were saying, if they were in a school, it makes sense, right? The, the, the progressive node to yeah. everything. It's not like everything at once at this level, right? Right. So by expanding that, that's there. And then my favorite personally is because we have so many people now in all over the place, as you said earlier, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot more ping-ponging back and forth and almost application that's getting fleshed out even at the beginner levels with people. So we're not going to make really good textbook JKD years, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to make some serious martial arts. Yeah. yeah, yeah, most definitely. So this, it was a great weekend. Uh, I'm going to encourage you to come and do uh, do the camps with us. I think you'll be blown away. We had some people first timers this year, uh, and they're like, I think they already might have signed up. They're like, we're coming back, you know, yeah. for next year's camp. I'll, I'll piggyback on that. So Mars Southwest camps already set up for uh, March 1st, 2nd, mm -hmm. and 3rd next year, 2024. We've already got over, I think we have 17 people already registered, it, you know, after the camp. Right. Yeah. So pre we cap it at 36. So just keep that in mind. And for the next 30 days, for the next month till April 5th, we've got a huge discount up there, which is kind of cool. So you got to do it. Yeah. You got to do it. It'll be a blast. I I'm telling you, we're probably going to have to get a bigger facility soon because this yeah. is just not going to accommodate much longer. Yep. You know, well, but it's fun. When I, by interviewing some people to see what their thoughts about the camp was, is, is a, a lot of first timers came in, they, they said that they liked the fact that they felt comfortable here, that people came up and made them feel at home. And you know, they talked about it's like a family, like the Mars family. And you know, I think that's what's, I've been to a lot of seminars and camps in my lifetime in martial arts. And there's sometimes I went and you just felt like you go to the seminar, you leave, you don't know anyone. And everyone who comes here, it's like, I, I've noticed that everyone comes up and they start gelling in with everyone and they feel part of, you know, the, the process rather than like a solo and I'm out by myself. Right? Oh man, I, I don't know how many camps we used to do them together. We'd do seminars together, but you'd go and you're kind of standing out to the side because you don't know your place mm -hmm. and you're kind of kept in that bubble, you know? And uh, it's great you're there for the info and not everybody's gonna like each other, but 
we, the three of us want that atmosphere. And, and, and we have, you know, I mean, like, there's some people I never thought that I would be kind of hanging out with. I thought, oh, not, you know, way different type. And you just see the human side of them through. Everybody cracks over the weekend. By the time you're done, it's usually everybody's joking and they, everybody fits right in. To me, it's like the rainbow coalition. It just comes together. So, yeah. so we don't just set it up like you just attend the event. You, you train, you go home or you go back to your hotel. We set up dinners, you know, or like I said, when we were in the Caribbean camp, you know, we're off doing tours together. And that's the whole thing of, yeah. you know, when we're, when we're going to Grand Junction or we're going over to France. I mean, that's exciting because people get to bring their family in. And th that's what people, we've, I've talked to so many people already going to France. I'm going to France, I'm bringing my family or I'm just gonna go yeah. by myself because it's been my dream to go to France. But rather than going to France by yourself, solo, you kind of go with a group and you can kind of hang and experience the process. You know? yeah, and, and a lot of the things that we're doing, you know, like we'll all get together, you get to see more of the human side of everybody, us included. We, you know, we go diving, we do all, all these things that we're, well, he's a pro with it, but like we're not. And so you get to see me trip over stuff and it's just kind of fun because, you know, we put, we put ourselves in different unfamiliar atmospheres. And by the time we're done, everybody's just had a blast. Everything's, you know, knock on wood to date. Mm -hmm. It's been smooth, no problems, fun, I think, Pretty much, I've never seen anybody leave one of these camps going, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, yeah, no I, egos here. That's not, that's what yeah. you know. Like, yeah. like, like, it's not just students. I mean, we did knife throwing, and I sucked at it, right? But we still go out and do it with everyone else, and uh, you know. Yeah. And uh, so we participate in it. I mean, our, our the staff does. We, we hey, let's go try that. I tried diving, and man, did I was sick when I did that, and I was so excited. I'm gonna dive for my first time, and I remember going down and. I started going down and my ears felt like they were explode. And I, I felt like, ah oh man, I felt like a failure, you know, but they said, no man, you're sick. You don't die when you're sick. So I'm kind of excited to try it again. I told my wife, I said, maybe you and I are just not the people who are underwater people. <laughs> we're above, but it was great. I, you know, I would have never tried diving had I right. did that. You know, if I didn't attend the event, I would have probably. Uh, at the Caribbean camp going into the sweat, you know, they had a sweat lodge, you know, all those things were, were you know, like the, you think about it, sometimes uh, people walk in and go, oh, I don't know. Everybody came out of it going, that was amazing, I gotta do it again. So it's just, please try the camps. I'm telling you, we're not gonna let you down. They're awesome so far to date. They, I don't know how we're gonna keep upping it, but you know, so far we've had them in, uh, uh, we're having them in Europe. Uh, we have uh, Istanbul, which is Europe. Well, we'll we're on the Asia side. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have them all over the states. You know, uh, I've had camps, Italy, everything else. We're, uh, next year, we're talking maybe Australia. I don't want to put it out there until it's yeah. locked, locked. But uh, yeah, it's coming. We got a lot to do. A lot of new exciting places. I think a lot of this uh, goes into just even our signature, right, on the email. You know, your yeah. Mars family. Right. right. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea and the concept of that we're going to have experiences that create memories that last a lifetime. Right. right. And, that, and that's the way it is. I mean, you walk in the door and five, six, seven people that you just barely met are going to be shaking your hand, giving you a bro hug or a full hug or whatever's convenient for you. Right. Everything from feeding you to punching you. They're going to be there for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's true. So no, it's cool. And, and again, I, I this is my drug of choice. I, I love doing this and I love the camps. It gives us all a chance to connect, you know, and, and we're so separated right now with everything that's going on in our world. It's just really nice, you know, to just get in here. It's, it's that moment that we've all kind of needed for a little, you know, for a while. So I'm gonna encourage you, please check it out. Please do. Yeah.